and take a deep breath in through the nose and imagine you're drawing that breath to the back of the rib cage so your ribs are expanding and long breath out through the mouth, you lift your belly up towards your spine so you engage your core even more deeply. And let's do that two more times. Deep breath in, and then long breath out, lift your belly button up towards your spine, engaging the pelvic floor. And then one more time. And exhale, let all the air out. And then one more breath in, and as you exhale, we're gonna come up onto the hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, not letting your weight sink down into your wrist. So even though we're not moving, everything is active. You're lifting your belly up, you're lengthening the top of your head in one direction, your tailbone in the other. So everything's pulling into the center, and then move through a few cat-cow stretches. Initiating the movement with the breath, Deep breath in as your head and tailbone come up. And exhale, initiate from the core, rounding through the spine, really bringing that back up towards the ceiling, tucking your tailbone down. And then add any other movement that feels good. Maybe you wanna move your hips side to side or add a little circular movement as you come around or rolling through the spine, sitting back on your heels. Just loosening everything up. And then we're gonna to come to stillness here. So just readjust if you need to, hands under the shoulders, spread your fingertips, thumbs in line. And we're gonna just progress a little opposite arm, opposite leg, but just starting with the right leg reaching out behind you. So just checking that the right hip bone is not lifting up. You want it to be pointed down towards the mat and your hips are straight across. So just holding it here, really lengthen that leg squeezing the glute, press into that right hand to stabilize. And then you're gonna pick up your left arm, bend the elbow, the elbow goes above the rib cage, and your hand is at the side. And then you're gonna place it down with control. So don't just let it plop down, resist as you push it down. So resist, pull up, press down. Resist, pull up, press down. Two more, keep reaching with that back leg, Neck is long. Now we're gonna add on, pull up, reach out, lengthen, pull back to that start position, press down into the mat. Lift, press, pull back, lengthen down. Keep reaching with that leg. Try to make sure your back doesn't start arching so the weight doesn't start to dump into your low back. There's almost a little tuck of the pelvis, one more. Now you're gonna lift up, lengthen, hold it here. Inhale, as you exhale, you're gonna drop your chin, tuck your tailbone, hug your knee and your elbow in as you lift your belly button. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, reach. The upper body stays completely still. It's not rocking forward and back. You're just rounding through the spine, lengthening out. One more. Hold it here, lift and lower your arm and leg. Squeeze that glute, lengthen your leg. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Hold it here, bring your arm and leg out to the side a little bit. So now they're at a diagonal, lift and lower. Keep breathing, press into your right hand. Come back to center, hand down, knee down, sit back in child pose. Just take any tension out of your neck, out of your low back, maybe roll your wrists around. And we're gonna do the other side. Rounding through the spine, coming back up onto your hands and knees. And this time we're going to extend your left leg out. So just holding it, finding your balance, making sure your hip isn't hiked up. It's pointing down towards the mat. And then the hand, right hand comes up and you resist as you press it down. Engage those muscles at your rib cage to draw your elbow up above the ribs. Push up, push. One more. 
Now we're gonna add that extension, press forward, pull back, place down and push. Keep reaching with that left leg. Two more. Lift your belly button up towards your spine. One more. Reach, pull in, press down. Now we're gonna lift and reach, hold it here, lengthen, inhale, exhale, using your core round through the spine, elbow to knee, lengthen out as you inhale. Exhale, pulling in. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Stabilizing by pressing into the mat, arm really connected into that shoulder socket. Two more. Last one. Hold it here, lengthen, lift and lower arm and leg. Like you're trying to touch the wall in front of you and behind you. Squeezing your glute. Three, four, hold it here. Arm and leg come to a diagonal. Stay centered, lift and lower. Try not to arch your low back, keep it neutral. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to center. Balance, hand down, knee down, child pose once more. Release any tension, maybe roll your wrist around. Take any tension out of your wrist. Because we're gonna do a little plank next. So if your wrists are already feeling compression, just roll up the front of your mat and place the heel of your palm on the edge to take some of the pressure out. So just stretching the back out right now. Inhale, exhale, rounding through the spine again coming up onto your hands and knees. So hands right under the shoulders, thumbs in line, pull the shoulders back and down, step back with the right foot and the left foot. So your weight is forward, you're lifting up out of your shoulders, you're lifting your belly, teeny tiny tuck of the pelvis. Hold it here, rock forward and back. So stretching out the feet, controlling the motion, using your toes, but staying lifted. One more, hold it, lift the right leg up, lengthen forward and back five times. Hold, lengthen, place that right foot down, recenter, left leg comes up, toes are pointed, lengthen, rock forward and back. Hold, place that left foot down. Come down onto your knees again. Just release any tension, one more plank to do. Take the pressure out of your wrist. And then rounding through the spine, coming back up onto your hands and knees. Turn on those muscles under your armpits to support you. Little tuck of the pelvis as you step back with one foot and then the other. So just holding it here for a few breaths, lifting your weight up as you do, and then maybe separate your feet a little bit more for a little bit more support. Just like we did on our hands and knees, right elbow comes up, place it down. Left elbow, place it down. Right elbow, try not to shift so much side to side. You're going to, but really use your core for support and making sure your weight doesn't sink down. So just alternating, elbow up, down, up, down. So either stay here or add that extension. Up, press out, elbow up, down. Lift, reach, up, down. Lift, reach, up, down. One more, lift that belly up towards your spine. Hold it. We're gonna lower down into a modified swan position all the way to the mat. So hands stay under your shoulders, start to come down slowly, elbows go straight back. You can come onto your knees all the way down. Your head's hovering above the mat here. Shoulders are back and down, elbows glued towards your ribs. Press into the mat, deep breath in, rise up. Exhale, lower. Press your pubic bone down to stabilize. 
Lift your belly up towards your spine. Think about lengthening the rib cage forward. Not so much lifting your head, straining your neck. No weight in the low back. Let's do one more. Shoulders stay down. Deep breath in and lower. Last time, child pose. Push up and back. Maybe roll the wrists around. Bring the right hand to the right side, left hand on top. Drop that left hip down, really reach up that left side. Belly is lifted up towards your spine. And then inhale, and as you exhale, switch sides. Reaching with the right arm, the right hip is pressed down, belly button is lifted. And then inhale, as you exhale, hands come back to center, round through the spine, coming onto your hands and knees, and then have a seat at the front of your mat. Good, so we're gonna start with our legs straight in front of us. We're gonna be hinging back with a flat back. So to start, we're gonna start with our hands just across our chest like this. Imagine you're sitting up against a wall. And if, if it's hard to sit up tall and you're feeling it in your hip flexors, if you have a yoga block or, or a pillow or something, prop yourself up a little bit. So try not to grip with your quads, just relax your quads, press your heels down, deep breath in through the nose, find that spot where your weight's behind your tailbone, hold it, lengthen, pull yourself up slowly. Breathe in through the nose to the back of the rib cage, lengthening as you do. You're not throwing your head back, your neck stays, up with the, stays in line with the rest of your spine, pull yourself up. One more like this. And then all the way up. Now make genie arms. Get really tall. Shoulders down. Inhale, hinge back, hold. Trying not to let your hips move or legs twist to the right. Twist to the left. Come center. Pull yourself up. Hinge back. Hold it, pull your belly in, lengthen. Twist to the right, twist to the left. Keep the weight even on your sitting bones. Don't let them shift side to side. One more time. Shoulders down, deep breath in. Twist, and then twist. Come center, pull yourself up. Just quick counter stretch, lengthen forward. And then restack your spine. So we're gonna add on from here. It's a lot of arm choreography, so we're gonna do it slow at first, but it's in Pilates on the reformer, it's back rowing, so with, with um, a flat back. So you're gonna sit up tall and bring your arms to 90 degrees. But your arms are active, you wanna flex your arms, so really make them work. And you're gonna keep that 90 degrees as you start to hinge back. And you hold it and lengthen. Keep your shoulders down, push your arms straight back lengthen so now the weight of your arms is challenging that nice straight line hold it here pull yourself up as you bring your arms behind you so now you're lengthening through the torso legs are reaching shoulders are down you're reaching with your arms belly is lifted deep breath in as you exhale like butterfly and swimming come up and around reach forward lengthen and come back to your start position. If this is a problem for you with your shoulders, don't do this up and over part. Just come forward and back with your arms at 90 degrees. So let's do that a little bit faster. So there's always this opposition. You're pressing back, reaching forward. You're coming back, but your legs are reaching forward. So find that opposition, arms at 90 degrees, sitting up tall, hinging back, hold, press up, shoulders back, Lift up with straight arms, bring your arms behind you, lift them up higher, lengthen, up and around. Sit up tall, hinge back, hold, lengthen. Press up, pull yourself up, arms come behind you, palms towards the ceiling. Up and around, reach, pull yourself up. Let's do one more. Lengthen, hold, press up, pull your shoulders back, chest is lifted. Pull yourself up, arms come behind and reach. Your head is reaching away 
You're lengthening your spine. Butterfly up and around and come all the way up. Sit so crisscross for a second. Just release any tension. Walk your hands forward. Your belly is lifted. And then inhale. As you exhale, you're going to walk your hands back. So we've done flat back. Now we're going to do a little bit of round back. So sitting up tall, just bring your arms in front of you like you're holding a ball. And you're going to tuck your tailbone, start to roll back to the point where you feel a challenge to your core, but you can hold it and your legs are connected to the mat. You're really dropping that belly button down, lifting your pelvic floor. Pull yourself up. Come up tall, shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, starting to roll back again. Don't collapse your chest. You make a slight C curve and you hold it. Pull that belly in. Lift your right arm up. Lift your spine. Lower. Left arm. Lower. Pull yourself up. Get taller. Going back again. Hold it. Bring both arms up, but don't let your chest drop. Lower. Both arms up, really pull that belly in. Lower one more time. And pull yourself up. Now we're gonna add some legs in. So at each stage, you can stay where we were or you can try adding on. Now sitting up tall, shoulders down. Exhale, starting to roll back. Pulling in so deeply that your leg just floats up and you lower it down carefully. It floats up and you lower it. So as you lift your right arm, you lift your left right leg, you lift your left arm, and then the opposite. Pull yourself up, coming up tall, going back again. Really pull your belly in. See if you can float both legs up. Keep that tuck of the pelvis. And then lower them down. Pull yourself up. So now we're going to add on from there. We're going to go into a teaser position once we lift our legs. So inhale. We're going to lift our arms up. Tuck your tailbone. Start to roll back. You're just pulling in so deeply. You just feel your legs lift. Then lift your chest back up. Hold. Lower your legs with control. Arms come forward again. Pull yourself up. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift your arms. Start to roll back. Chest is open. Shoulders down. Really pull in deeply. Float your legs up. Lift up into teaser. Chest is open. Roll down a little bit again. Lower your legs. Stretch forward. You can grab your ankles, place your hands on your shins, grab your toes, but lengthen your spine, whatever you need to do to release that tension in your back. And then walk your hands back. So now we're going to do rolling like a ball. So you're gonna walk your feet in, hands below your, your knees, push back so your weight is just behind your tailbone, Pull, scoop your belly in, lift your rib cage up. Then keep that same distance between your rib cage and the hip bone as you roll. So you just drop back, come up, hold it. Elbows are flexed, elbows are out to the side, arms are flexed. Weight goes just to the shoulder blades or a little bit above, no pressure in the neck. One more. And you're gonna hold it here. We're gonna add on. So we're gonna scoop that belly in. We're gonna extend our legs, let them hover over the floor, tuck your pelvis, Arms come overhead, my head's above the floor. Circle around, pull my knees back in, roll back. Come up, balance. Pull your belly in. Inhale as you scoop out, reaching overhead. Push through air like you're pushing through water. Pull yourself up. Roll again. Scooping out, extending. Squeeze your inner thighs, except this time bring one knee in. Hold it. Bring that knee out as you come out. Again, other knee. Hold. My right leg is not touching the floor. It's reaching and lengthening. I'm going back out. Both knees come in. Roll back. 
and sit crisscross again. Walk your hands forward. Just release any tension in your back. Good. So we're going to come all the way down for the hundred. So just plant your feet down, knees are bent. You're reaching your arms forward. You start to hinge back slowly with a flat back. Find that point you feel challenged. Then make a tiny tuck of the pelvis. Slowly come down, one bone at a time, until your head is all the way down. Pull your knees into your chest. Just rock side to side. Feel that massage across the back of your pelvis. Maybe rock your head side to side. Draw little circles on the ceiling with your nose. Good, so here for the 100 now, you can have your feet on the floor if you really want to work on your upper curl of the upper abdominals, or you can have your legs in chair, these over the hips, or you can come straight up to the ceiling, you're working level as long as your low back is not popping up and your belly is not popping up. So inhale, as you exhale, you start to bring your head up by pulling in with your core. You're looking through your thighs, super straight arms. Find the position for your legs that work for you. Inhale and exhale, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale, three, four, five. Pull your belly deeper. Exhale, three, four, five, inhale. Exhale, three, four, five. Really glue that pelvis down. Exhale, three, four, five, inhale. Exhale, three, four, five, curl a little higher. Exhale, three, four, five, inhale. Exhale, three, four, five, two more sets. Exhale, three, four, five, last set. Exhale, three, four, five. Pull your knees in, lower your head, rock side to side again. Place your feet down one at a time, extend your legs out, reach your arms overhead and really just stretching your arms, stretching your legs for a full body stretch. Try to keep your ribs connected, don't let your back pop up. And then pulling the right knee into your chest, give it a little squeeze. Circle that knee around in one direction and then the other, pulling your belly in to stabilize the pelvis, don't let it move around. And then with your right hand, just gently guide that, guide that knee to the right side, opening up that hip, keep that left hip glued down to the mat and you're guiding it towards your right shoulder. And then bring it across your body. Your left hand goes on the outside of the knee for a spine twist. You can extend your right arm out to the side, relax your right shoulder. Belly pulled in tight. Inhale and exhale, coming back to center. Pull the left knee and extend that right leg out. And then circle the knee in one direction and then the other. And with your left hand guiding it out to the left side, opening up that hip, keep the right hip glued down. Pelvis is stable on the mat. And then back to center across your body, right hand on the outside. Extend the left arm out to the side. Just soften that left shoulder. And then coming back onto your back, pull the right knee in. We're gonna go into the ab series five here. Two hands are gonna be on the right knee. You're gonna use your core to lift your chest. So inhale, exhale, coming up into your C curve and you can put your head down at any time if you feel tension in your neck. Extend that left leg out. Make it super long, glue the pelvis down, maybe curl up a little bit higher. Flex your arms, switch sides and hold. Really reach, find that length. We'll do one more on each side slowly. Just making sure you have good form, your legs are in line with the frame of your body, and then you pick up the pace. As much as you're pulling in, you're reaching out with that opposite leg. Press out and pull in. Pull in with your core, then grab with your hands. You can also have your head, hands behind your head, or you can reach them at your side. Four. 
and three, two, and one. Pull both knees in, flex your arms out to the side. See if you can pull yourself up a little bit higher, pull your belly in a little bit more deeply. Then we're going to open our arms and legs, make a V with the body, circle around, pull back in. Inhale, exhale, circle around. Inhale, push like your arms, like you're pushing through water, create tension. Inhale, reach, pull that belly in. Exhale, circle around. One more. Bring both legs up, make a little V with your feet, squeeze your inner thighs, hands come behind the head, lower to your working level, elbows are wide, pull back up. As you lower, make sure your low back is not popping up. Lower, lifting with your core, two more. Last one. Pull your knees in, lock your head side to side. I just realized I forgot scissors, so legs go straight up. Inhale, as you exhale, we're gonna reach up, grab behind your thigh or your calf, extend that left leg out so it's hovering above the floor. Maybe pull yourself up a little bit higher and then switch sides, hold it for the stretch. Reach with the right leg, glue the pelvis down. Don't let it move as you switch and hold. Switch and hold, and now pick up the pace. Pull the leg in, then grab it. Four, and three, pull yourself up a little bit higher. Two, and one. Legs come back to chair, hands behind the head. Twist over to the right. Imagine you're bringing your left shoulder towards your right thigh. Switch sides. And switch. And switch. Lifting and twisting. The rib cage is just rotating around the spine. Pelvis is completely still, so your legs aren't moving. Now to the right, pull the right knee and extend that left leg out. Switch sides and hold. Keep those legs in line with your hips. And switch. And switch. Drop that belly button down. Switch. Now pick up the pace. Keep breathing. And three. And two. And one. Pull your knees in. Lower your head. Rock side to side, rock your head side to side, release any tension. Feel free to grab water at any time. Good, so just do a couple knee stirs, one hand on each knee, big circles away from each other. And then switch directions. And then coming back to stillness, bring your feet down. We're gonna do a little bit of bridging here. Feet, knees, and hips in line. Make sure your feet don't roll out. So you want the weight even across your feet. Arms at your side, pull your shoulders back and down away from your ears. Little tuck to the pelvis, press into your feet, start to rise up. Lifting your hips, squeezing your glutes, push your knees away from you. You're trying to create as much length from your knee to your sternum as you can without getting any weight on your neck. And then slowly come down one bone at a time. Bring your arms straight up towards the ceiling. You're reaching, but you're pulling in at the shoulder socket. Inhale, exhale, pelvic tilt, start to peel up. Weight just to the shoulder blades. Keep reaching with your arms as you lower down. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale, starting to peel up. Coming all the way up. Squeezing those glutes, pulling everything into the center. As much as you're lifting from below, you're pulling in with the belly. And then you slowly come down one bone at a time. And bring your arms, arms by your side. 
legs at your side. And we're just gonna float the right leg up. We're gonna point your toe, rotate your knee to the right. We're gonna do some leg circles here. You circle to the left, cross over the bottom leg, lift up. You only make the circle as big as you can control your pelvis. So you can even put your fingertips to make sure it's not moving side to side. You can have your arms pressed into the mat. You can bring them up towards the ceiling. One more to the left. Hold, reverse your circles. Circle to the right. Cross over, lift up. Try not to let your pelvis move side to side. Inhale, exhale, lifting with control. No momentum. Hold, lengthen. Hands go behind your thigh or your calf, whichever feels good. You can come up for a hamstring stretch or keep your head down. Flex and point. And lower back down if your head was lifted. And we're just going to scissor the legs with control to bring that left leg up. Reach and lengthen that left leg up. Shoulders back. Rotate your knee to the left. Start to circle to the right. Cross over. Lift with control. So there's no momentum here. You're really controlling the movement, lengthening your leg, not throwing your leg around. Maybe try reaching your arms up towards the ceiling. One more to the right. Hold it at the top, lengthen. Now to the left. Cross over the bottom leg, lift. Down, around, lift up, hold. Down, around. Really glue that pelvis down. Pull in deeply with the core. One more. And hold. Pull that left knee into your chest. Extend that leg out. We're going to do the roll up here. So flex your feet, make sure your back isn't lifting up. Pull everything in, arms overhead, but ribs stay together. Inhale, as you exhale, arms come up. Then your head, shoulders, and shoulder blades come up. Then pull yourself up with your core. Stretch it forward. So everything is reaching forward as you're pulling back with your abdominals. And then you slowly come back one bone at a time. Coming down with control. Inhale, arms come overhead. You're lifting your pelvic floor. You're pulling your belly in and out. You peel up off the mat and stretch it forward. Pull in more deeply and start rolling back slowly, really taking your time here. Let's do one more full roll up. Keep your ribs together. Inhale, exhale, head, shoulders, and shoulder blades. Stretching forward. Everything's reaching and lengthening away. And you slowly come back down, resisting as you go. Ribs stay together. Inhale, arms come overhead. Exhale, arms lift. Pull yourself up. Stretch it forward. Restack your spine. Bring the soles of your feet together. Grab your ankles. Sit up really tall. Then start to stretch forward. For a little bit of forward flexion, press your elbows into your thighs if you want an inner thigh stretch. Just take a couple breaths here. And then restack your spine. Good, so we're gonna do some seated leg lifts here, do a little quad work. So we're gonna be sitting up tall and we're gonna pull that left knee in. Hands pressed into the mat and lift your chest. Genie arms or hold on to your leg. You just want to make sure you're not holding yourself up by holding on to your leg. So they're just there to rest. Point the toes on the left leg, lift that leg up, start to lift it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and flex. Get right up on those sitting bones, pull your belly in. Seven, eight, nine, ten, flex out. Six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, flex in, sit up taller. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Shake that leg out, switch sides. Get right up on your sitting bones. Lift your chest, you wanna be broad, wide across the collarbones. Shoulders down, point your toes and lift. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, now flex. 
sit up taller, belly in. Seven, eight, nine, ten, flex out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, flex in. Don't fall back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake that leg out. Bring your legs into a V for the saw. Getting really tall, like you're up against the wall. Try not to squeeze with your quads. Just let them relax for a second. Find that lift of the rib cage. Shoulders down, arms are reaching. Twist to the right. Your arms move because you're moving your torso. Then you stretch and reach forward, bringing your left pinky towards your right pinky toe. But you're pressing that left hip down. So you're getting this stretch. And you're reaching that right arm behind you just as much as you're reaching forward. Use your core to restack, come center, twist left. Exhale, really reach in two directions, like someone's pulling that left arm behind you. You can rotate your palm towards the ceiling to deepen the stretch. Inhale, restack, lift, twist. Right palm can go towards the ceiling. Lift, twist, and reach. And lift, twist. We're going to do one more on each side. Shoulders down, lift the rib cage, twist and reach. Bringing that pinky towards the pinky toe, coming all the way up, arms down. Bring your legs together. We're going to do some reverse tabletop here. So your hands come behind your hips. Fingertips are forward, feet, knees, and hips are in line. And as you come up, you want to come up so that your shoulders end up over your hands. So your weight's not too far forward or back. You're pulling in with your core, lengthening your spine, and then inhale. As you exhale, you start to lift your hips up, squeezing your glutes. You're a straight line now from your sternum to your knees. Hold it here. Your head is looking forward. You don't want to put any strain on your neck and let your head be heavy going back. Pull that belly in. Slowly start to lower those hips down, but don't let them touch the mat. Come back up, squeeze those glutes. Hold it. Inhale, exhale, start to lower down again. And lift. Press evenly into the foot, big toe, little toe, heel. Knees going straight ahead. Start to lower down, squeeze back up. Now hold it here, we can do a little bit of marching. So first make sure that you're not sinking your weight down. Lift up out of your shoulders. Press into your left foot, the right leg floats up, lowers, left leg floats up, lower. So press into the opposite foot. And then lift, lower. Trying not to let the opposite hip sink. One more on each side. Hold. Just coming all the way down. Stretch the legs up. Bring the arms around. Up. Stretch forward. Release any tension. Maybe you grab your um, shins, your toes. Whatever feels good to get the stretch, get the pressure out of your back. And then restack your spine. So before we move on to uh, exercises on our stomach for the back, we're gonna do a, a different one. We're gonna, this is side bending exercise, but it's a different setup. So you're gonna come onto your side. And I like to call these Barbie legs. So you have straight legs, one, the bottom, my, I'm on my right side. My right leg goes forward, my left leg goes back. And the big toe is on the floor of my left leg. You want to make sure your hips are stacked. So now I'm going to take my left hand, place it down on the mat, take my right hand and wrap it over my shoulder. And then I'm going to bend sideways. Just let my shoulder lightly touch the mat and pull myself up. So it looks like an arm exercise, but really it's your obliques pressing up. Bend over like you're bending over a barrel to touch the mat with your shoulder, lift. 
You don't want your ribs to touch the shoulder, to touch the mat. Lift one more. Lift. Now place that right hand down. Keep that left leg reaching back. Start to twist and, tw and face forward facing the mat. So bring your elbows in. Pull that belly in and try to find that rotation. Then you lower your chest. Press up. Keep pulling that left hip back. Three more. You're lowering straight down. Inhale. Exhale, lift. One more. And then you're gonna sit up, swing your legs to the other side. So just start out. So I'm on my left side now. So my top leg, my right leg starts to go back. My bottom leg goes forward and both legs are completely straight. Hips are stacked and my right big toe is on the floor. So now I'm going to take my right hand, place it down on the mat, left hand across my shoulder, and I bend sideways, touch the mat with my shoulder, curl back up. So really focus on your obliques. You try to draw on those muscles to lower down, lift up from there. So it's left arm up and down, curl over, curl up. One more. Keep working that top leg back. Hold it up, put that left hand down, lengthen as you twist. You still have that right leg working back and you lower, press up, lengthen. Belly is lifted. One more. Oops. I lost my speaker. And then hold it. And then you're just going to come all the way down, untwist so that you're laying flat on the mat. Good. So from here, we're going to do double leg kick. So your legs are glued together. You're going to take both hands and just place them at your low back. Your hands your, are clasped together. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Your head is floating above the mat, the mat and your neck is really long. We're gonna to kick towards our bottom three times. So one, two, three, lift up, lengthen. Now we're gonna lower all the way down. So look to the right, bring your left cheek on the mat, kick three times, one, two, three. Deep breath in, press your pubic bone down, lengthen through the crown of the head, lift your chest. Look left three times. Press your elbows down towards the mat so you feel that stretch across your back. Deep breath in. Look right. Lower. One, two, three. Pull yourself up, lengthen through the crown of the head. Look left. One, two, three. Lift. Look right. One, two, three. Pull that chest back. One more time on the left. Get wide across the shoulder blades. Lift up, hold. Release your hands, bring them out to a T. Separate your legs a little bit. Press your pubic bone down, lift your belly, find that length, then start to beat, beat your heels together. 10 more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Child pose, hands under the shoulders. Pressing back, walk your hands forward, chest towards your thighs. Take a few breaths in and out. And then inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna round through the spine and we're gonna come onto our right side for some leg work now. So normally, a lot of times, or most times we have our head down here or propped up. So if you want to make it a little more challenging, try coming up on your elbow. So you want your elbow and your shoulder in line. You're making sure that this side of your body, the right side is active, so you're not sinking down here. So you have to really hold yourself up. Your legs are glued together and you're gonna bring them forward slightly. If you need to be, have your head down, that's okay too. This is just another way to 
kind of make you a little bit stronger if you want to try it. You can have your hand on your hip, your hand behind your head, whatever works, but keep your ribs together. Lift that top leg, flex your foot, and you're going to sweep it forward, point, sweep it behind you. What you don't want to do is come forward and back with the upper body. So really keep that still. Flex it forward, point, reach behind you. Making your leg as long as you can, not letting your weight start to sink into your shoulder and your arm. One more. Bring your legs out to the side. Rotate your knee towards the ceiling a little bit. Lift, flex down. Lift, flex down. So it's point up, flex, press. Two more. Hold it here. Knees pointed forward, little circles. Reverse. Two, three, four, Five. Hold it here. Bend your knees for clamshell. You're still not sinking here. Lift out of your shoulders. Open without your hips moving back. Press down. So you're resisting in both directions. Three more. Hold it here. You can keep the bottom leg uh, bent. Extend the front Top leg right in front of you, lift and lower. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring that back to the side. Now, we're already on our elbow, but we're going to push up till our hand is on the mat. And you're going to straighten your legs out just a little bit, and you're going to bend and put your top leg or your um, top foot or the left foot in front of the bottom so your ankles are near each other. Reach your left arm out towards the side, and you're going to push up and over into a side bend and hold it. And then with control, have a seat. As you do that, keep the weight from sinking into your shoulder. Inhale, exhale, up and over. Squeeze your inner thighs, and then have a seat. So do one more like that, or you can add a little rotation and thread the needle. So you're gonna come up and over. And now like we're doing one arm downward dog, you're gonna press down, pike your hips up, and then twist the ribs and bring that left arm under. Come back out to the side, reaching overhead, and have a seat with control. Swing your legs to the other side. So just whether you're laying down or on your elbow, just finding that lift so you're not sinking down into your left side. And then you're gonna straighten your legs out, lift that top leg, flex the foot, sweep it forward, point, reach it behind you, keeping your hips stacked. You can even keep your hand on your hip just to make sure it's not moving forward and back. Push through that heel, really lengthen that leg. Belly pulled in tight, shoulders down. Two more. Hold it here, point your toes, rotate your knee towards the ceiling a little bit, lift, flex down. So if you're up on your shoulder, you might not lift as high as if you were down. So don't try to hike your hip up to get your leg up. Lengthen your leg as you lift it. One more. Now knee comes forward, you're pointing your toes, little circles. And one, two, three, four, five. Bring your legs together, bend your knees for clamshell, reposition, hips are stacked, feet glued together, lift, resist as you lower. Lift out of your shoulder. Two more. Keep that bottom leg bent. You're gonna bring that top leg straight out in front of you, foot is flexed, lift and lower. And then bring that leg down. We're gonna do that side bend again now. 
So my legs are bent, but I have my right foot down in front of my left foot, trying not to let my weight sink down, but I'm pushing into the mat. Right arm is reaching, palm towards the ceiling. Press down to lift up and over. You balance and hold it. Keep your weight lifted out of your shoulder. Sit down with control. Inhale, exhale up and over. Squeeze your inner thighs. Lift from the bottom, ribs and your obliques. Sit down. We'll do one more and you can add that rotation for thread the needle. So inhale, exhale up and over. Lift your hips, then press into the mat. You start to pike your hips up, twist the rib cage. Then start to slowly come back with control. Lift your hips and sit down with control. Nice job. Good, so we're gonna come onto our backs again. So just reaching your legs straight out in front of you. Make a little tuck of the pelvis slowly coming down. So you're all the way down on the mat. We're gonna do a little bit more bridging. Walk your feet in, belly pulled in and up, arms at your side, shoulders are back and down away from your ears. Press into your feet, inhale, exhale, pelvic tilt. Start to peel up, press your knees away from you, and then slowly come down one bone at a time. We're gonna come up again and then hold it up there. You're pulling your belly in, squeezing your glutes, lifting your pelvic floor. Imagine there's a little ball in between your thighs, just squeezing that ball. So little pulses in, your knees aren't gonna to touch. You're just engaging your inner thighs to squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze that ball. Seven, eight, nine, 10, hold, slowly come down. Let's do that again. Pelvic tilt, start to peel up. Nice straight line, squeeze that ball. Pull your belly in, lifting your pelvic floor, shoulders back, no tension in the neck. Hold. Slowly coming down with control. Good, so instead of squeezing the ball, next time we come up, we're gonna bring one leg up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, pelvic tilt, starting to lift up slowly. Weight to the shoulder blades, really press into that left foot and bring that right leg straight up. Push that left knee away. So you're pointing your toes, now flex your foot, Lower till you're past your knees, point lift. Flex down, point lift. Don't let the left hip drop. Keep your leg in line with your hip. One more. Point lift, hold, drop an inch, squeeze up. Drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze. Two more. Last one, hold. Place that foot down. Slowly come down. One bone at a time. Now the other side, pressing into the feet, shoulders back, inhale, exhale, pelvic tilt, starting to peel up. First, find that nice strong bridge, press into the right foot, bring that left leg straight up, really lengthen that leg, triceps are engaged, flex the foot, feel that stretch. Lower that leg, point lift. Flex down, point lift. Keep breathing. Push that right knee away, squeeze the right glute. Point lift, hold, keep your toes pointed. Drop your hips an inch, lift. Drop, lift. Drop, squeeze on the right. One more. Lift, hold. Place that left foot down. Find your form again and slowly come down. Release the pelvic tilt. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, rock side to side. And then taking your right leg, you're gonna cross your right foot above the left knee and just hold it here. 
or you can grab behind the left thigh with two hands for a figure four stretch. You can also press your right elbow into your right thigh to open up the hip a little bit. Taking a few breaths here. And then switch sides. And then bringing both knees to center. We're gonna kick our legs, roll up, and finish with standing push-ups. So you're gonna stand at the end of your mat, feet parallel under your hips. We're gonna roll down with control, walk out to a plank and do five push-ups. Elbows glued to your side, hands under your shoulders. It can also be on your knees. You don't have to be in a plank. So standing up tall, imagine you're lifting up to start to roll down. So lift your belly, try not to let your hips move back and you're lengthening, it's an active flexion. Your hands come to the floor, you walk out to a plank, hands under the shoulders. Belly lifted, little tuck of the pelvis, elbows go straight back. In a plank or on your knees, but you're dropping in one piece. So try not to pike, five push-ups. After five, you're in your plank, you pike your hips up, you walk back. Just hold it here for a second. Nice long spine, press your heels down. Roll up one bone at a time. Your head comes up, deep breath in. Exhale, you drop your chin. You start to round through the spine, keeping your hips right over your ankles, lifting your belly. You find that stretch, you walk out. Five push-ups again. Elbows go straight back. Try not to let your weight start to sag between the shoulders. Walking back, pike your hips up. Press your heels down, tuck your tailbone. Rolling up, one bone at a time. Inhale, standing up tall, last set. Exhale, you start to drop your head. Lift your belly as you curl forward and down. Hands find the mat, walk out. Five push-ups. Elbows straight back. Press your thumb and forefinger down. Or cup your fingertips, it helps. And then walking back. Just dangle here for a second, spine is long. Do a little side to side movement, stretching out the hamstrings. Belly is lifted. Press your heels down, restack your spine. And then you're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the air away. One more time, deep breath in. Your right hand holds just below the left wrist. Lift through the ribs as you curl over to the right. Press your left heel down. So you're lengthening as you side bend. Coming back up, switch sides up and over to the left. Press your right heel down. Pull yourself up, push the airway. Feel like you're getting taller. One more deep breath in. Ribs stay together, get taller. Lift through the crown of your head. And that's it.